Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back and old man. A pellet grill review. I tell you what, I love doing pellet grill reviews, folks. And today we're going to the Camp Chef Woodwind SG against the Pellet Pro 770 by Smoke Daddy Inc. Folks, I'll tell you what, this is going to be interesting because I own both these grills, as you can tell. And full disclosure, let's start off right now. I was given this bike, the Camp Chef Woodwind. Gave, it was given to me by Camp Chef. And Pellet Pro was given to me by Smoke Daddy. So... Full disclosure there, I own both these grills. I didn't pay anything for them. And so this is going to be my, <laughs> you're going to get an unbiased review in which one I would pick in the end. So I'll tell you what, let's get started, shall we? All right, let's get started with some of the specifics here. We're going to start with the Camp Chef Woodwind SG. Uh, SG stands for Slide and Grill. Folks, uh, Slide and Grill, and I think the people even from Camp Chef would admit it is somewhat of a gimmick really doesn't work and I've, I've shown you that uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube folks I got an unboxing video of this I, I'm not saying it's a bad grill because it really has some pretty nice features uh, but I've, I've cooked on it I've got an unboxing video of it I've showed you the uh, sliding grill uh, which is a little weird that you put that on here and have a grill that uh, you know has to have a gas sear box on it this this woodwind has to have that on it in order to balance it out because it has a 22 pound pellet hopper on it and if you don't have that on it gets a little tipsy so you know even when i first got it there was a big sticker on this side that says don't use until you put on the sear box so uh, nothing wrong with that i like the sear box great idea uh I, there's a couple little options I, I have on here i i did put i did put that temp probe on there uh that's not from camp Ship. did that on my own and it has a nice Front shelf. You can see all the other options from Camp Chef. They have a lot of different Pell grills. Three-year limited warranty on their grills. Uh, well, extended warranty, I should say. Um, they have a bottle opener. They have a controller that's called Smart Smoke Technology. It's not PID. It's just Smart Smoke Te Technology. It goes from 160 to 500, and it does get up to 500. And I have seen it down at 160. And folks. It works. Uh, going around to the side a little bit. Uh, they do have a pellet dump on the bottom. You can see that right there. They have that ash cleanup system on, on underside where you, you pull a lever and it does clean out the ash. I honestly don't use it because I'm a big believer in vacuuming out my pellet grill every time after I use it. That's just me. On the inside, you can see we've got the two levels, two level cooking grates on there. Uh, and uh, you got, I tell you what, it's very nice. It's got a lot of room. You can see they've got what's called the bread box design, where you're square in the back, which gives you more headroom, and it does work. And they have a stainless steel cover. So I'll tell you what, let's look at the uh, Pillow Pro 770, shall we? All right, folks, let's take a look at the Pillow Pro 770 from Smoke Daddy Inc. Uh, we, we talked about, first, first thing you're going to notice is the square square front of it. And you're going to say, what, what's up with that? We talked about the bread box design on the Cam Chef. Well, the Pell Pro has got that also, except it puts it toward the front. And that, that's a pretty cool idea because when it comes to doing, say, standing up beer can chicken or something like that, in my opinion, that's going to be closer to the front than the back of the grill. So I think that's a really good idea by the people over at Pella Pro. Uh, it does, it is 770 square inches, which is a little bit smaller than the 811 on the Camp Chef. Take a look at the inside. Got the double shelves there. Everything else looks pretty much the same. There are some differences. We'll get into that just a little bit later. Uh, Pella Hopper, 35 pounds as opposed to the 22. This thing is, I didn't realize how huge this thing was until I filled it up and used it. It was like two weeks later and the thing was only half empty. I was like, holy cow, what's going on here? Um, we talked about controllers. We talked about the uh, Camp Chef uh, Smart Smoke. This is a PID controller, so it really does get within five degrees of your set point. Works fantastic. Folks, when it comes to controllers, I, I get a really kick out of um, all the comments that are out there. If you have a pellet grill that doesn't have PID, everybody criticizes it for not having a PID. And if you have one that has a PID, <laughs> Everyone criticizes you for having it. So I tell you what, personal preference, folks, and, and that's the most important thing. So, you know, we let's get into the warranty a little bit. We talked about the Camp Chef having three-year. They've got three-year on the PID, seven years, and it includes parts of the PID, but everything else. So seven-year warranty 
I'll tell you what, and that's what you get. You get a piece of paper like this. That's who else do you get that from these days? You, you don't get a lot of that anymore. So that's one of the most impressive things. So that's just a, a real simple breakdown of the Pell Pro. And I'll tell you what, let's get a little bit more detail between these two grills. All right, folks, I think, I think the first biggest difference we need to talk about is we've got the sear station there from Camp Chef and the Pell Pro does not. However, Pell Pro has an accessory called the Universal Sear Station and Tom Horseman on YouTube, if you wanna see that at work. In fact, I've taken that and put it on that and it worked phenomenal, a lot better than sliding grill. So this does get up to 900 degrees. It's heavy duty steel. The flavor riser bars are 301 stainless steel. It'll fit any pillow grill folks that has a center fire pot and is 19 and a half inches from the back to the front. Just measure your grades. If they're 19 and a half inches, that'll fit. And that goes for about 70 bucks. So I'll tell you what, so if you're wondering, you know, you're right. No sear station. However, you can get that and it works phenomenal. And I've showed you that already. Uh, let's talk about some other features, shall we? All right, folks, let's get into some of the other details. Build quality. Uh, one of the things that I look at is the uh, thickness of the steel that's being used and the quality of the steel that's being used. Actually, this is all, these are all steel products here. So we've got 13 gauge on the Pella Pro. I cannot find what this is, but I'm telling you, it's a little bit lighter than that. Um, a lot of stainless steel, fancy, fancy stainless steel. You know how I keep my grills clean. I love to keep them grill, grills clean. I love stainless steel, but there's different types of quality of stainless steel. And stainless steel, if it's 100% stainless steel, you shouldn't be able to stick a magnet to it. And I got a magnet right here, and you can see, I can pick up the lid with it. So <laughs> that's not 100% stainless steel. Same on the lid, it sticks. Now let's let's go over to the Pell Pro, folks. Now they're telling me this is 301. 301 doesn't have any other steel in it. So here's here's the lid. No tricks here, folks. 301 stainless steel. It doesn't stick. This will not rust. This will. Now, for you, for some of you, that might be a big deal. For some of you, you say, yeah, it ain't that big of a deal. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna store it in my garage. So not that big of a deal. Okay. Let's take a look at a few other things. All right, let's talk about the front shelves now. The Pell Pro has this attachable, detachable front shelf. It's 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 pretty nice. It's up high. It serves its purpose. The Camp Chef's got one. They they have the same type, but they also have this type too. Uh, it's not as wide. It, it does look better though. I kind of like the way it looks, but it's probably not as functional as this. Keep on watching. Bottom shelves, uh, folks, you see I have nothing on my bottom shelves, but they do add stability to the legs. So on the Woodwind, that's an extra. On the Pell Pro, that comes standard, and it helps to stabilize your legs. You look at the legs, we've got square tube, we've got round tube, they both do a very good job. You can see we've got uh, casters not locking, but casters that are locking. A little bit of a difference there. All right, pellet dumps. You can see we've got a pellet dump on the Cam Chef, and we have a pellet, chef, pellet dump on the Pellet Pro 770. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the finishes. We talked about the stainless steel and the differences there. Uh, on the uh, Pellet Pro for the black, we've got a powder-coated high-temp paint, and we've got something similar on the Cam Chef, except it's uh, kind of like a matte finish. Uh, they had the same thing on the cover, but that came damaged. And when they replaced it, they gave me this this other one, which I kind of like better. Also, when it comes to finishes, you got a bottle opener. And <laughs> no bottle opener. We do have the sight glass there. You know, that, that is convenient and handy. We don't have it on there. If you want to know how many pellets are left in the Pell Pro, you just, all you got to do is open it up. And there it should be. All right, let's take a look at a couple other things, shall we? All right, the question everybody's asking is, well, Tom, tell us about the price. This unit right here, now this is end of April 2019. This unit right there is going for 900 bucks. It's 100 bucks off on sale. That front shelf is an option. The bottom shelf is an option. Over on the Pell Pro, this is going right now, like I said, end of April of 2019, it's going for 825. Uh, 
Everything you see here comes with it except for that front shelf. And if you want to do searing, you got the sear, universal sear station. It comes like that. And it comes with the lava rock, stainless steel, heavy duty. And that's an additional 70 bucks. So they're both about 900 bucks if you want them both to do the same thing. Folks, if you're, I know you're asking me, okay, Tom, which one would you pick? And like I said, I've cooked extensively on the Camp Chef. Nothing wrong with it. And I've cooked extensively, extensively on the Pella Pro. Nothing wrong with it. I, I think there are some differences, though. Uh, I think when it comes to which one's going to last the longest, which one has the better warranty, which one has the better quality of uh, materials, folks, I, I'm not lying to you. This is what I'd go with. I'd go with the Pella Pro. Uh, another thing I like about it, it's a family-owned business. They're out of Waukegan, Illinois. Uh, it's uh, virtually a dad, a daughter, a mom, uh, a sister. Uh, you know, it, the, the whole family's involved in this company. I, what a cool thing they're doing there. And I, I just really like that a, lo a lot. Nothing wrong with the people over at Camp Chef. I mean, they're great people. But... Uh, Folks, if you're looking for something that's going to last you, that you can buy and not worry about having to replace in a couple years, this is my choice. The Pell Pro 770. SmokeDaddyInc.com, folks. Check them out. I'll leave the link down below. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. I know you will. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.